Welcome, Welcome to the show. And uh, we're outside again, as you can see, because it's gorgeous. And you know it's St. Swithin's Day today, so if you believe in that kind of stuff, we should have 40 days of perfect weather coming up. I hope so, because it's not raining. And 40 nights. And 40 nights. Well, the sun doesn't shine at night, but still. And tonight we talk to the world's most successful female recording artist, the phenomenally famous Celine Dion. She talks to us frankly about her ecstatically happy marriage and her delighted motherhood and her fantastically successful show in Las Vegas. And that is her only UK interview. And the breathtakingly accurate fine art forgeries that are not only fooling the experts but are totally legal. You want a money, monsieur? Certainement. You desire a dégât? Tout de suite. We meet the French forgers who can knock up a Mona Lisa before petit déjeuner. Welcome back, thanks for staying with us. Now, Celine Dion gives her only UK interview for ages here later, talking about the only man in her life ever, husband René, their battle to have children using IVF, and her new three-year deal doing a huge daily show on the Strip in Vegas. And the ultimate in faking it, Christophe Petit is a French businessman who makes a fortune from the lucrative art of forging old masters. Quite legally, though, buyers commission him and his team of painters to fake a famous painting, and then he ages it with his special techniques down to the last wormhole in the frame. He and his bon ami, a man who thinks and indeed looks as if he's the reincarnation of Salvador Dali, joins his life. <laughs> Then the last step would be the framing of the painting, which is also important because there is many ways, you know, to frame a painting. The painting will look quite different. We have a wide range of different frames. Everything is 100% handmade. We can do almost anything. as good when you see them in, in reality as they looked on the, on the telly there. Well, that's the ageing process explained. The paintings themselves are copied by a team of professional artists. Uh, Christophe joins us now with one of those artists, Jean Muller von Rohrbach, who uh, just happens to believe that he's the reincarnation of Salvador Dali, and I think he is, actually. Uh, but before we talk to Salvador, um, Christophe, th this, ha this happened to you when you coveted a, a particular painting. I think it was, an, it was a late Van Gogh, wasn't it? It's an 1890 Van Gogh. And you couldn't possibly afford it. It was 10, 12 million pounds. So you got a friend to copy it, and you put it in an old frame and you looked at it and you thought there's money in this because this is great yeah it's pretty much the way it happened yeah. um, the thing is that I had the you know the first painting then I ordered some more and after I had a smaller collection then that's when the, um, we decided to make an exhibition and this first exhibition was a great success and we decided to keep on working like this. Is this basically, is this basically for people who, who either can't afford um, or, or aren't able to persuade the owner of, 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 of an old master to sell it and this is the next best thing if you know, there is different uh, categories of clients. Some of the people, of course, they cannot afford, but we have also, we sell a lot to uh, some um, great collectors, and they just want to put the original one in a safe for security reason, mm -hmm. and they ask us to produce the, a copy. Right. But there's no question if you're pretending that they, they are real. No, no, <coughs> no, no way. No. Can you just tell us about the law, which means that as long as, I believe, as long as a painter has been dead for at least 70 years, um, it, is, it is quite legal to copy him? It's completely legal, yeah. Um, we consider it's what we call public domain. Mm -hmm. So there is no copyright anymore, and you can do anything you want. So well, produce a painting, including the signature. Well, before we talk to Monsieur Dali, let's have a quick look at some of that. Now, th this, is, this is a copy of a very, very famous Van Gogh, mm -hmm. which is uh, it, it's just fantastic. It's, it's the, the, the young artist on your team who will have painted that, um, I mean, does, do they enjoy the artist? Do they enjoy the process of copying it, or would they be rather doing their own original painting? No, they really like to do it. It's 100% a pleasure, completely. Uh, you have to understand that those artists, they're really keen on the artist that they want to copy. Mm. Mm. Um, they just like him. They know everything about his life, his work, the way he used to, to work, the way he used to live. You know, every, they know every single detail. So they just... They, they absolutely replicate each exactly. brush stroke. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And apparently that, that uh, painting sold a while ago for... The original. Uh, the original, original yeah. not yeah. that. Sorry, <laughs> the original sold for how much? 85, 85, 85 million, million dollars. 85 million yeah. dollars. Mm -hmm. So how much would you have charged for that? Uh, this one is something like 3,800 euro. 
Euro. Euro. Yeah. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's pretty and and quickly, right, look yep. at this one, which is a, a, obviously a, a copy of film, a Renoir. <laughs> that was on, and, and that... Fantastic. It's, it's quite beautiful. It's astonishing. I, I, you see, I noticed you've actually signed it, the Renoir. Yeah. How, that's does also that, how does that not, you know, break the law? That's the same. Um, they consider that the, the name of the artist is not a tra it's not like a trademark. Not like a trademark, I see. Yeah. So it's, um, it's yeah, you can copy. Well, listen, let's go across to Salvador Dali here. You are Jean. Salvador Dali, Jean. Jean. Of course. What a question. <laughs> but you, but you, better. You work, you work with Christophe, but your your very great affinity with uh, the late Monsieur Dali is not something you can do because, of course, he only died. When did he die? Nineteen eighty something. On the revival, the incarnation. 89, 89 it was, I think. Yeah. 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 So this is something which, at the moment, you have to you, the thing that you love most. You have to keep to yourself. A, a personal hobby, and just look at the, look at just this look at extraordinary this. painting behind. I mean, most people in this country, see it? Is most people the, in this country are, 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 are familiar with the, with the works of Dali, uh, and that's and that's the melting clock, and it's it. Watch. The melting watch, rather, and it's it. That's, that's a, an exact copy. You say actually, don't you, that when you're doing commercial paintings for Christoph here, you're tempted to improve on the original. This is the most difficult part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time I say, no, please, don't be Jean Muller von Rohrbach. Do not so good. When in fact I'm not allowed to sell my melted watch yeah. because it would be very bad for Dali, you know. It's, uh, they will see the difference. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and so many times people ask me, why Dali in my life? And I always reply, Dali worked very hard all his life to make my PR. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, uh... Have you brought, you've brought something else with you down there? Oh yes, then? it's uh, my uh, intimate self-portrait. I'm yeah. very, I'm very proud of it. Self-portrait. Yeah. yeah. With a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> very neat. Well, let's finish this quickly with you, Christophe. Is, is this art? As a Frenchman, you can philosophize on this for us. Is it art? Okay, I think that yes. Um, just to tell you in few words, um, if you consider, for example, some famous singers like uh, Celine Dion or Robbie Williams, sometimes they don't write the lyrics and the music of their uh, True. songs. Okay? Mm -hmm. They just interpret. So this is almost the same. The inspiration, you know, part of the art comes from someone else which is Dali, Renoir, Van Gogh, whatever. Sure. And they just interpret this artist. They have the technique. Like, the singer has the technique, you know, he, know, he knows how to use his voice. That's exactly the same. For, for me, if you consider singers as being artists, then you have to consider those people as being okay. artists also. Well, Christophe, well, thank, you thank you very so much, much indeed. And I love your trousers. Yeah, trousers. And I love your whole outfit, your whole thank ensemble. Thank you for your good taste. <laughs> 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 OK. Uh, well, talking of Celine Dion, coming up after the break, you say, and you say we pay, we talk to the most extraordinary music phenomenon, phenomenon of our times, indeed, the fabulously successful Celine Dion. <laughs>